Us denies making new concessions to Iran in bid to revive 2015 nuclear deal, the White House denied reports on Thursday that the US has made new concessions to Iran as talks to revive the 2015 nuclear deal approach their 500th day. London-based Iran International had earlier published a list of reported concessions the Biden administration had agreed to in a bid to get Iran to come back into full compliance with the deal, also known as the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action, JCPOA. The Biden administration has repeatedly stated its belief that reviving the deal would be the best way to prevent Iran from acquiring a nuclear weapon, something which US officials have said was weeks away for several months now. The White House denied reports on Thursday that the US has made new concessions to Iran as talks to revive the 2015 nuclear deal approach their 500th day. London-based Iran International had earlier published a list of reported concessions the Biden administration had agreed to in a bid to get Iran to come back into full compliance with the deal, also known as the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action, JCPOA. For the latest headlines, follow our Google News channel online or via the app. The Biden administration has repeatedly stated its belief that reviving the deal would be the best way to prevent Iran from acquiring a nuclear weapon, something which US officials have said was weeks away for several months now. Reports that we have accepted or are considering new concessions to Iran as part of re-entering the 2015 nuclear deal are categorically false, National Security Council spokeswoman Adrian Watson said in a statement to Al Arabia English. The outlet said it obtained a list of concessions the US agreed to, which include the removal of sanctions on 17 banks, the immediate release of $7 billion worth of Iranian assets frozen in South Korea and the annulment of multiple executive orders signed by former US President Donald Trump. Other concessions Iran International reported include sanctions relief of over 100 institutions and the guaranteed sale of 50 million barrels of Iranian oil in 120 days. In the event that the US withdraws from the deal again, which is highly likely under a future Republican administration, Iran International reported that foreign companies would be exempt from US sanctions as part of the new concessions. After more than a year of indirect talks and stalling mechanisms by Iran, the EU proposed a final text to Iran and the US at the start of this month, asking for a response within a few weeks. Despite the EU saying there was no more room for negotiations, Tehran made several remarks and sent back its response to the EU, which in turn passed along the comments to the US. Washington has yet to respond. A White House official told Al Arabia English that the US had taken a deliberate and principled approach to these negotiations from the start, adding that if Iran was ready to comply with the 2015 deal, then the US was prepared to do the same. As for Iran's comments on the EU proposed final text, the White House official said they were still studying them. Our communication with the EU is private. We have been in touch with them regularly throughout the process, the official told Al Arabia English. It was also reported on Thursday that the deal would include the swap of prisoners. At least four Americans are detained in Iran.